Hello and welcome to an episode of Fight for the Top. It's been six weeks off and I've even forgotten what the series called. So we're back here at Snetton, uh, which is in Norfolk or near Norfolk. And we've just qualified fourth and first for the two races this weekend. So we're hoping to try and extend the championship lead uh, and get ourselves ahead on, on drop scores. And it's not been a bad way to start the weekend at all. Gareth actually runs Pyrex. I do. That's true. He, he invoices me money. <laughs> and he's the man I call when I've got no idea how many tyres I've used. Yeah, Microphone. A lot. Yeah, he does other stuff. Sometimes. Yeah, he plays with this. No. I yeah, that's, that's Gareth. We've got an early start tomorrow, so we're filming the pre-race bit early. So it's now Saturday night, uh, obviously fourth and first in qualifying. Pretty good. First race, we're behind both our championship rivals, but obviously race two, we're in the lead. So race one is, is half nine tomorrow morning. We've got no idea what the weather's going to do. At the moment, it's dry, but it, it could rain. So uh, yeah, we're just going to kind of wake up in the morning, look in the sky and see what's going on. So yeah, fingers crossed. I'd probably prefer it to be dry, um, but I'm not really bothered if it's wet either. And I've got my teammate Brad Burns with me at the front, which is, which is nice, so it's probably one of the first times we've had a, a teammate right at the front with me, so hopefully we, we've got a chance of uh, two pyro cars right at the top. just said we, we, were, we were 11th, not our best result, actually our worst finish ever in Cleo Cup, but actually in terms of the championship not so bad, so we've moved from being a couple of points ahead on non-drop scores to now being only four behind on drop scores, which to be honest is the important thing at the end, so yeah I messed up at turn two, went straight on, and I had to rejoin it at the back of the pack in 18th, but I came back through to finish 11th, car felt okay, um, but nothing overly amazing, and uh, yeah, you know, it's it's, a, it's a, not a great finish, but at the end of the day, it's, in terms of the championship, it's actually quite good. Um, so because we've not had a bad race all year, that one bad race for us isn't so much of a problem. Uh, the fact that our main type championship rivals have had also not so great race has, uh, has meant that we've jumped forward a little bit in the championship. Uh, so overall, I'm actually quite happy. We'll start the next one from pole. Uh, I've got James Dorton alongside me on second. So we, it's going to be an interesting one, and I've just got to try and pull it out the bag and go for win number four. Here we are at um, Snetterton, Sunday morning. Weather's changed overnight. Uh, rain, as you can see outside. Just trying to make that decision now. It's, it's not absolutely pouring down. The track is wet, but not soaking. We've got to make that decision whether we're going on staying on slicks or going to wets. Uh, if we're going to wets, then obviously we need to do some a few um, setup changes, all the dampers, etc., uh, tyre pressures. We've just got to make that decision. That's coming up soon. Uh, we've probably got about 15 minutes to make that decision now. So uh, exciting times coming up. Some pretty 
So, Lucas can get in with me. P1 in the second race. Top job. Mega. So, hi. <laughs> Cameo. Um, yeah, a win. I got off the line pretty poorly. Made it back up on about like, three or four. A little safety car period. We, uh, we nailed that and then got going and uh, yeah, it was, it was awesome. So, yeah, another win, uh, which is great. Um, James Dorling was second, the other championship rival was, was well down, so uh, it's done our championship a load of good as well, um, but Rockingham's up next, it's a track that I absolutely love, so I'm just going there with the attitude of uh, aiming to win both races, so fingers crossed, um, and we just keep it going the way that we do. <laughs> 